Uh, you're in the MRI department right now, Cleveland Regional Medical Center. We have a 1.5 magnet, uh, which is a, a superconductive magnet that is used in the process of MRI scans. Uh, MRI does not use any, any x-rays, any radiation at all. Uh, it is all done with uh, magnetism and a radio frequency wave that is sent through the, through the patient's body that then uh, is recorded and translated into an image. Uh, this is our MRI scanner. Why is an MRI used instead of CT sometimes? Well, we get a lot better detail on things like the brain, the joints, the spine. You can see things that you can't see on a CT. Uh, like the, um, if we're do, you can see the spinal cord, you can see all the nerves coming out, the muscles, the tendons. Uh, it's just a lot better quality uh, and detail that you can't get on a CT. It does, however, take longer. It takes at, on each scan it takes at least 20 minutes. We take over 100 pictures, so there's and you, we got a lot of views. Um, it's it's just a lot more detailed. Uh, CT is better for body lung scanning and body because they can do it in breath holds, and most of our patients can't hold their breath long enough that we could get you know really good quality we get some pretty good quality uh, abdomen films but there's still breathing motion on most of them and we do slices through different planes so they can see it in every area so it, it's it's very very detailed very good for uh, pre-surgical things like uh, rotator cuffs on the shoulder and, uh, ankle surgeries uh, spinal surgeries we do a lot of spines for the neuro doctors we have the high definition uh, we have eight channel coils, which is very good. Uh, so that's ahead of some of them. Um, and we, you know, we get very detailed. We, we're very comparable to Charlotte. How many people do you typically run through here in a month? Uh, well, when we're really busy, we can do up to 30 a day. That's pushing it. Usually 20, 25 is, is what we like to see. It's convenient. <laughs> we're all friendly. We try to take real good care of our patients excellent care. Uh, most of us are registered MRI techs. We've been, uh, we have anywhere from three to 15, 20 years experience. We're also radiology, um, what do you call it? Trained. trained, yeah. And certified. And certified, yeah. Now what does that, what does it mean to be radiology trained? Well that means we all went to either a hospital-based or college-based program for two years for radiology to get our, our license so we could do uh, regular x-rays, you know, like um, the, operate the x-ray machines, the fluoro, go to OR and that. And then as well, we've been trained in MRI. This is like the, the vessels, the cutouts, so after we, um, we, we have to process the images once we're done. And that's the vessels in the head. It's pretty neat. We can manipulate them any way we want. We do them however the doctors like them. This is the lumbar spine. You can see you can um, get a better one. So you're seeing the soft tissue in, you all the muscles. Oh yeah, in. I want to get one where you can see the cord real well. See, this is the all of the, the vertebrae, the discs in between, the spinal cord coming down. And uh, the spinal canal, lot, yeah. spinal canal, yeah. And this is the sacrum and coming out there. So you can see very, very detailed the nerves and everything. That's great. Yeah. And there's no, there's really no ionizing radiation, which is very good. People are worried about that. This is the the knee, and we do it different ways as well. Each one, the doctors look for certain things.